um, there's a difference between a woman who may be called a gold digger and a woman who wants financial stability. Um, gold digging, of course, is pretty much when you want to be with somebody of the opposite sex or even the same sex um, because they have a lot of money and so you can have a lot of material items. You know, we all know what it is. But financial stability um, or someone who wants somebody because of financial stability is someone who wants somebody who can pretty much, you know, afford to live life without stress. Right? They can do groceries. If the car gets fixed or it gets broken, excuse me, they can get it fixed. All that other stuff. And to take it further, <clears throat> you know, a woman want a dude who, you know what? Um, if they have a child and they want to, you know, take off time to raise the child, at least, you know, until he goes to school, that they can be with somebody who can hold it down and their house is not going to get foreclosed on. So that, you know, in a nutshell is what financial stability is. And, you know, every human being should want that. That makes perfect sense. But here's the problem. What women don't understand is that there are more women who want men who are financially stable than there are men who are financially stable. And this goes for all races. So there are more Asian women who want financially stable men than there are Asian men who are financially stable. Why? Because as a woman, you yourself don't have to be financially stable to want a man who's financially stable. So if you're a lawyer, um, if you're in the middle, you know, you're an executive secretary or you're a hairdresser or, I don't know, you work part-time um, selling, who knows, you know, or, you know, you work as a makeup artist. Like, you know, all these different levels of work um, have different levels of income, but yet all these women still want um, a financially stable mate. That's where the discrepancy happens. Um, and sometimes, you know, people don't really look into this um, in terms of why we see interracial dating happening. Um, you know, white women are smart with this. They know how to pick mates um, to make sure that they are financially stable. Right? They will choose a black guy in a heartbeat who's more financially stable than a white guy who isn't. Because that's first in their priority. You think about it. When we say a successful black man, what become what comes before black? The word successful, right? Meaning that's the primary factor that goes into, you know, making him desirable. The blackness is just the icing on the cake. Right? You can work with what he is as long as he has some sort of, you know, financial stability, which makes sense. Um, so what does this mean? Like, what does this mean if you're a woman? Um, it means that things have changed. Like, you, if you look at the economy and where it's going, um, people just want to feel secure. And that makes sense. People want to know that, you know what, if anything happens, we're not going to get kicked out of our house and lose, lose everything that we have. And that makes sense. So what that means is that women, I think all women, especially American women, or even if you know you're a foreigner living here I think women understand that or at least the smart ones do that they have to find someone who's financially stable and that comes first right so you know when people say oh successful black men are dating outside the race and all that other stuff People fact the first thing that people say is that oh it's because they hate black women but they're not understanding that non-black women view their level of success before their level of blackness or just them being black. So they view the fact that he's financially stable as the reason why they want to be with them, and him being black is just icing on the cake. I'm a black lawyer, right? My blackness is not the selling point. Me being a lawyer is. Right? The icing on the cake is my blackness. Shit. You know, it's like buying a Mercedes Benz. Right? Oh, you know what? 
let me throw on some rims on there, you know, like, you know, just that little extra on the end, um, so what does this mean for black women, um, I think it means that, um, and, I, you know, I, I understand that it's hard, I'm not even gonna lie, and, you know, and say that, oh, you do have options, your eyes are just closed, um, I've never said that, um, but what you have to understand is the market is not in your favor. You know what I mean? And so sometimes you have to figure out what you're doing and figure out what you need to do to make yourself more competitive. Give yourself that competitive edge because you're competing. That You know, I hear a lot of black women, you know, they like to group up, right, and then complain. But at the end of the day, what can you do, right? When there's just not enough men out there. You know, men who are financially stable, I mean, that trait is colorblind. Really, it's colorblind. If you sit doctors from different ethnicities in the same room, they're going to be similar. In a lot of different ways. They're going to be similar. So as a woman. You see this and you're like. You know what. I'm not worried about his race. Or not as much as I used to be. Just because of how the economy is looking. And I don't know. Even with Obama. I think it's crazy. Because I feel like Obama's His impact is more social. Than it's going to be political. Um. And I think that, honestly, it's kind of even made it more acceptable probably to date black men. If you're smart and you're articulate, shit, who knows what happens now, right? So in a nutshell, um, if you're a black woman, what should you take from this? Understand that women are now looking for men who are financially stable not ballers you know they're not gold digging but they're looking for men who are financially stable I think black women sometimes not all but are in extremes one minute they want to date a guy who has nothing but yet they want to date a guy who has all these riches right who has a, a chest full of gold that's just seeping out everywhere <laughs> and you know Women are just going for the cats who are just financially stable who can get by and not living on that month-to-month -month bullshit, paycheck-to-paycheck -paycheck lifestyle. So that's what I feel like you guys should take from this video. So let me know how you feel. I mean, if you feel differently, differently let me know, but I don't know. It seems pretty clear to me what's going on.